So recently I was tracking this shot of this dude with a helmet and I ran across a interesting issue. And when I say interesting, I mean the kind of issue that makes me want to take my head, and just like ram it through a fucking wall and like bleed out. So that kind of interesting issue. And uh, that issue was that even though this uh, helmet has a ton of detail, like all these blue lightning bolts, I don't know what's going on here. Either way, it has all this stuff. Um, yet when I try to add in a tracker and I tried in all the settings, location, affine, whatever, it can't track like it maybe it goes for a bit but it's like wobbling and that's kind of strange because uh, this marker right here or any of these have a ton of detail um and really the only ones so let me just show you a couple examples this tracker not working fucking sucks this tracker maybe one of them will work we'll see that one kind of worked oh no that one actually wobbled around all of these suck right the only one that worked is this one and that's just because it has such a stupid amount of detail right um so I tried messing around with Affine, with the pattern size, with all this shit, um, yet there was only one uh, solution that actually worked, and it's one that you wouldn't consider. So, first of all, the reason this is an issue is mainly because it's a reflective surface. So, uh, no matter uh, if we enable normalize or whatever, uh, you're going to notice that there's this white highlight that kind of drifts up and down, right? So, somehow we want to track and tell Blender, hey, just ignore it, okay? <laughs> just look for the lightning bolts, that's it. And here's how you do that, okay? So, I'm going to add in a tracker. So, something like this, previously untrackable. Just bullshit, right? Um, if we were to look at this tracker in the uh, tracking window right here, this is basically the uh, pattern area uh, scaled up into this little window thing and we can adjust it. Um, you can see we have red, green, and blue. This isn't just saying, oh, I only want to see red or I only want to see green or blue, blue or black and white, whatever, right? Uh, this is saying, what should I be tracking? Usually all of these are enabled. In other words, we are tracking all the color data, all the chroma data, uh, some people would say, right? Um, however, sometimes it makes sense to only track one color. So for example, if we enable blue, you see there's a bit of contrast. Green, probably the worst channel, and red, super contrasty. This is what we would want. Why is it red? Well, because the helmet's red. It makes sense. This is where there's going to be the most difference between the red of the helmet and the blue of the lightning bolt. So I'm just going to enable red and let's hit track and it tracks perfectly, okay? This isn't like a uh, one-click solution for everything, but for something like this, and let's try another right here. Um, well, there, there's still a bit of drifting. That That's gonna need some manual correction, but, oh, actually, wait, wait, I'm going crazy. It's because I didn't enable red. I made the mistake that I was trying to explain. Only enable red, track it, and it actually goes through. That only proves my point even more. You thought, you thought I was going crazy. No, only enable red, track it. It actually works, okay? And in general, this is great for all kinds of services where you're having this kind of issue, whether it be red, green, a combination of the two, whatever. Really, it's the green channel that's messing stuff up because there's like not much detail here, right? Uh, let me just do one more for emphasis. So let's add in a tracker. Hopefully it doesn't track normally, let's see. Nope, that one uh, did not track normally. Now let's uh, undo all that data. Now we have an empty tracker. Keep it only on red in this case and it tracks perfectly. Dude, I was so angry when I was trying to track this thing over and over and over again. I'm like, this is only a 63 frame shot. If I can't track this, what am I gonna do? Anyways, um, that that's the solution. Red, green, blue, who would have thought? Thanks for watching, see ya. Before you go, just one more thing. Curtis Holt, you know the guy who makes tutorials? That guy, he made a product. It's called Modular Metals. It's a great pack of procedural metals that can, you know, do stuff like rust, uh, edge wear, stuff like that. So it's not just like textures and stuff like that. Something you can apply to every single model and get realistic results. So check it out. There's an affiliates link in the description. And uh, yeah, see ya.